Hey guys, in this video, I have nine different no interview work from home jobs that you could do and also mostly automate with ChatGPT and other forms of AI. So the first type of work from home job that you could get a lot of times without an interview while also using AI to automate the majority of the job is something that has to do with writing articles. So if you're writing any kind of article, like for instance, you could go to a website called textbroker.com. Textbroker.com, you just go to I write content and then you can get paid to be an independent contractor who writes articles for different clients. And the faster you are, the better quality of writing you have, the more money you get paid. So a lot of it is performance based. And it also goes based on how long the article is and what type of work you're doing. So for instance, if you wanna know like how payment works, they have three different things that you can do. You have open order, you have direct order, and you have team order. So you can choose from thousands of orders based on your quality level earnings per word depend on quality level. So basically this is going to be like people are hiring people to write articles in this area. And if you have good quality, you can get 5.5 cents per word. And then direct order is basically when people come directly to you and you can set your own rate usually. They tell you that right there. And then for team order, basically you join these different teams and they have like a set rate for each team of these different types of articles. So for instance, if you were to do just a regular order, you did like a 1000 word article, you could make $55 for a thousand words. You could do say $660 for 12,000 words. You know, it just depends on what you're doing. So for instance, you could go to say chat GPT and be like, okay, I want to write a, you know, two what's I'm just going to use, you know, a short article as an example for the sake of this video, not getting too long. Let's say I wanted to be like, all right, write, write a, you know, let's say a 250 word blog post about the importance of getting sunlight each day or something, just, just something completely random, nothing. I'm not going to do anything, obviously super controversial or anything, but you do something like that. Just again, just a completely random example. And we'll see how long it takes for ChatGPT to create a blog post like this. Now you can also adjust the blog post. You can tell ChatGPT to make it more of a friendly tone. You can make it, you can basically cite different references of like, you know, you can tell it to go find some studies to back it up, to back up the claims in the article, etc. So there you go. It's already done. It took only a few seconds, maybe five seconds or so, 10 seconds to create a 250 word blog post. And then you can edit it from there, but the grammar is pretty much always perfect or near perfect with these types of articles. So if you're writing high quality by using AI, you're maximizing how much you can make. If you can write 250 words in you know, five seconds and it takes you, you know, 20 seconds or 25 seconds to write a 1000 word article with high quality, just imagine how much you could make per hour. And obviously you want to make sure that it's high, a good article that has lots of sources and things like that, depending on the client. But it's something you could do with just basic chat GPT. Now you can also see like how much a typical person at text broker makes. You're looking around $25 per hour. It looks like for the most part, if you look at the top three results here, but that's people doing it manually. Imagine how much you could make if you had, you know, AI doing the majority of the work for you. Another type of job that I think you could do very well with using AI is proofreading and editing. So you could do a really good job of looking at something, editing it, making it sound better, giving it a different tone and all of that kind of stuff. So you could do Scribber for instance, and you could go to scribber.com and you could go down to jobs and then you can look at these freelance jobs that they have available. So they don't have any current like regular jobs, but if you look at freelance, you could be either a Dutch, German, English, or French freelance editor. So you could go to English as an example here. And this one, they do require some form of experience. So this is something that you may have to use if you have some sort of background in editing. This is something where like you use your background to get the job, but then you use AI to do the more majority of the job for you. And you just kind of, you know, tweak it from there. But 
you can do you know, ridiculous speeds of editing and proofreading. Like usually these types of companies, they want you to be able to do a certain amount of words per minute or a certain amount of words per week, depending on the project. And then you have, you know, a per word fee for every, and you get paid every two weeks. You earn an average of 145 euros for reviewing a 10,000 word thesis. And you can just literally copy and paste that into ChatGPT and tell it to edit it, to improve it, to change the tone and things like that. So let's say you went and found some sort of just random thesis example. So I just went and found one at mit.edu. I'm just going to basically copy and paste like a section of this just to kind of give you an idea of like how this could work. So, you know, if you were to say, you know, copy some, any form of text type work, chat GPT can do really well. So if you were to just basically tell it to edit this for, you could be like proofread this for mistakes. And then you just paste it in there, click enter, and then they'll basically tell you like, okay, there are a few things, here's a revised version of this. So then it'll basically show you what the better version of this could be. Then you could tweak things from there for editing and proofreading type jobs. So they will also tell you the corrections and improvements that were made. So you can use that to also make notes for whoever the writer is. So Scribber.com, great place to find this type of work if you want to be an independent contractor and make your own hours. And it's a place where, you know, obviously the amount you get paid is going to vary. You may have to have some qualifications here. So it's not going to apply to every person watching this video, but if you do want to do something and you've kind of thought about doing proofreading and editing and you're like, well, you know, I wish the pay was better, but you want the flexibility, the pay can be better because the faster you are, the higher you get paid per hour of work. And ChatGPT can do a lot of the work for you. So as long as you can meet these qualifications, you could use something like Scribber or proofreading.org or some of these other proofreading and editing sites for independent contractors and use something like, you know, ChatGPT or some other form of AI to do most of the work for you. So hourly pay for these, you know, some of these they say up to 33 an hour, depending on how fast you are, how good you are. Obviously, um, if these people are making up to $33 an hour on average doing it manually, imagine again how you could do if you had AI doing most of the work. Now, another thing you could do is graphic design. This could this is something I could have dragged out into a lot of different sections in the video, but I didn't want to just, you know, keep saying basically the same thing over and over and just, you know, compartmentalize graphic design into a bunch of different things. But you can do logos, you can do product labels, you can do t-shirt designs, all sorts of stuff. You can go to some place like 99designs.com, get paid to be a freelance graphic designer. And the nice thing about this is because of the advances in AI, you don't necessarily have to be the greatest artist in the world, but if you have an eye for art, you can still do a great job by letting AI do the actual production part for you, speeding up your process. Now you can go to almost any freelance site and do graphic design work as well. I just mentioned 99designs because I know this is a place specifically for graphic design work. They have a few different ways of doing this. So there are two main ways that you can get paid. One is you work directly with clients. Like for instance, Tim Ferriss, a big, big podcaster, went and hired um, someone called Never Go Hungry to specifically do a book cover, which ended up being a bestseller, I think. And it's basically like you set your own prices or you negotiate the prices. They come directly to you based on your portfolio. They also have contests. So you can build your portfolio. You can build your profile by doing contests and winning these contests and then use your designs to basically make your profile look better in hopes that maybe you'll make more money later on by attracting your own clients directly. So with something like 99designs, you can use either Dolly or Mid Journey or something like that to create these designs. So you could be like use Dolly to create a coffee shop logo that is modern and inviting or something like that. Just make up something. I'm just using this as an example. And then you can click go and then it'll create a message for you. Now, again, you can also use Mid Journey. That's very popular as well. Mid Journey is kind of a direct competitor with Dolly. But if you had, say, ChatGPT4 
and you're, you know, you have that subscription, you get all of it together. So for instance, there you go. You have this created. Now, obviously it misspelled it. It's not entirely perfect yet, but we're getting there. You can also refresh it a few times and you can also tell it to spell out the exact words better. Sometimes, you know, you have to do it a couple times. If you've ever watched a YouTube video about using Dolly or Midjourney, sometimes you have to tell it a couple of times before it gives you the best version of a graphic that includes text. Text a lot of times is the hardest part for these, but you have these different logos. You could maybe simplify, you could tell um, ChatGPT to maybe simplify it, for instance, because this would be hard to put on like a storefront. It's too detailed, but it just gives you an idea of what you could do and then where you could go to get these types of gigs. Now, as far as how much you can make at 99designs, they have, you know, people giving reviews here saying they've made, you know, maybe you'll look for freelance designer, graphic designer, something like that. You see 27 an hour for those two, $37 an hour averaged between two web designers, and then graphic and logo designer averaged $29 an hour. So again, they're doing things manually though. They're having to kind of start from scratch or use some sort of inspiration, go to, you know, maybe the suite of Adobe products like Photoshop and stuff like that and create these different things. Whereas you can make money faster, you can if make your process more efficient with graphic design by using Dolly or Midjourney. Another thing you could do is translation work depending on the type of translation you're looking for. Now, if they want you to translate it in to an audio file, like the final product would be an audio file, this might not work that well. But if, you know, at least for now until you get better, you know, voices that sound more natural using AI, which they're getting there. But if you're trying to take maybe an audio file, for instance, and turn it into a text file, but translate it into another language, you could do something like this with Gango.com possibly, or many other translation sites. I'm just using Gango.com as one example because I know they're a place where you can become an independent contractor and get paid to do translation of many different languages. So if you go to become a translator, you'll see more information about how you can make your own schedule, pick and choose projects, and work with some of the latest technology on just about any device, even if you're a beginner. As long as you're multilingual, you don't necessarily have to have a crazy resume or anything like that. But you know, some of these different languages pay more than others. Like, you know, if you did Chinese versus Arabic or something like that, it would be higher paying. But if you're trying to make some extra money, if you're trying to work from home with a lot of flexibility, you could do something like this without having to go through a typical interview process. And then you could basically take, you know, let's say you wanted to just take a random paragraph and then you go to ChatGPT and be like, translate this into Arabic or something like that. And then you paste it. And then there you go. It translates it into Arabic. You just you can just copy and paste this. So there you go. That's something that you can do again with ChatGPT and AI. You can take something like that you can do it via text now if they have a video what you can do you can go to a video for instance or you could actually use a screen recorder or some sort of way to record audio usually any computer you have whether it's apple microsoft whatever if you have a computer just look for a way to record audio and record system audio specifically if you record system audio and then play the the audio file that you're trying to translate what you can do is record that and then upload it as an MP4 file to YouTube. And once you do that, you just give it a few hours and then you can go to subtitles on the YouTube video, then go to the uh, subtitles here and click download in this section. And you can download the file and then basically you can take that transcription, you can paste it in here and be, be like, you know, remove numbers and timestamps from this transcription and then paste it in here and then let ChatGPT do its thing. So then you see that it removed all the stuff that you get from, you know, the video part where you download this 
from YouTube. Again, you can just use audio files. You don't need to worry about visuals and all that. You can just save it as a private file, let YouTube automatically do the, transcri the transcription for you or the subtitles for you, download that from your YouTube channel, and then put it into something like ChatGPT and tell it to remove the numbers and remove the timestamps. And then the, there you go. You have you could have the translation just like that. And then you could tell it to translate this paragraph right here into whatever language you need to translate it to to get paid. Now, as far as how much people make at Gengo, usually you, you can look at just averages. Again, you can make a lot more than these people because you'll be a lot faster and you are using the latest technology to do it better. But a freelance translator can still average around $25 per hour here. Next, you have something like script writing. This is something I, I know is becoming more and more in some in some cases controversial because of you know certain people uh, protesting the use of AI and you know in cinema and stuff like that. But you can go to a place like Fiverr.com and you can get hired to do just about anything, especially if it's computer related. So you take your skills and you post them on Fiverr. You tell people how much you will charge for for whatever specific task you're going to do, and then people go to your profile and hire you to do that task. So it's kind of like a freelance store in a way where you do some sort of online work for people. Now you could do say script writing, you could do movie script writing, you could do actual scripts for like YouTube videos or podcasts that could be even more lucrative, maybe even get you more clients that might be a little more common. But any kind of like script writing, you could be like, you know, you could look at some examples of these different profiles and see how to set up a good profile, what others actually charge, how many, how much you could get paid per page, you know, like for instance, if people wanted to just try out, you know, something quick and see how they do. For instance, you could do like $10 for one page, $90 for 30 pages, etc. So you kind of give people like a discount as they order more pages. And then you have like unlimited revisions, delivery time and all of that summed up there and people just pick the package they want and then click buy. And then of course you can go back and forth if they want to, you know, add some things to tweak with it. But if you want to do something like script writing again for YouTubers, for podcasters, for people writing, you know, screenplays or whatever, they would have some sort of obvious, like some idea of something. Let's say they wanted to do a really short animated video and the animator needs to hire a voice actor, but they need an actual script to give to the voice actor but the animator is gonna do all the visual stuff. So let's say you wanted to be like, you know, so I came up with this just random thing that off the top of my head, obviously, you know, you can make fun of me if you want, but I said, write a one page YouTube video script for a guy running into his childhood crush at a coffee shop 20 years later, trying to find out if she is single without being too forward. So I've never really done a script on here before, but I know they can do a really good job with these. So here you go. ChatGPT is coming up with a script for a video, somebody named James, and then he's basically approaching someone named Sarah who will also have a separate set of dialogue. So basically you can take an idea and turn it into a script for an animation, for YouTube, for a podcast, for a screenplay, for just about anything. And you can see how well it actually does. You can see that it formats everything correctly. And then you can take this and either read it yourself or give it to a voice actor, also on Fiverr if you wanted to, and basically create like a little screenplay from it. So it tells you the opening shot, tells you the closing shot, tells you who's saying what, it tells you kind of what it looks like so that if you were animating this or if you were having actors play this out, they could do everything exactly how the screenplay says to do it. So then you see right here, you can write these screenplays. Now you can do this for your own business, or again, you can use something like Fiverr and you can sell these services. You can sell the services on Fiverr, like you can model your profile like this guy who's obviously been doing very well because that's Fiverr's choice. Um, and basically be like, all right, I'll do one page for $10. And then you can deliver it in a day or less because it's so fast, you can literally write a screenplay in less than a minute using ChatGPT by just giving a very good description of it to ChatGPT. Now you might be wondering, well, how much does a freelancer typically make at Fiverr? Well, it's going to vary quite a bit depending on what type of job you're actually selling. So like a general freelancer averages around $38 per hour according to 87 people. But then you'll see the averages 
go up or down depending on the specific type of freelancer they may be, like a graphic designer or a content writer or something like that, a video editor. So you can also look and see how much a typical, like a script writer typically charges per hour. So it's hard to find like a screenplay writer or a script writer or something like that to give a accurate salary example, but you can just look at, you know, writers, speech writers, things like that maybe as an example. Obviously the pay can vary depending on what you're doing, but you can also just go by how much these people charge per page and just go from there. So $10 per page or something like that. And then how long does it take ChatGPT to make one page? As I showed you, it can do it very fast, like in a minute or less. Another thing you could do is coding tutorials. A lot of websites out there will actually pay good money for people who can write a good coding tutorial that you can post as a guest writer on their website. So some of these companies will pay you hundreds of dollars for each tutorial that you do. One example would be code.tutsplus.com. This is part of the Envato market, which is a place where people buy all sorts of things related to code, web design, um, templates and themes for their websites and stuff like that. So they look for all sorts of things here. As a guest poster, you can do anything and everything from PHP, Ruby, server-side JavaScript, HTML5, CSS3, document-based database systems, and everything in between. So they have people who, you know, charge them 700 plus per month in some cases for just writing tutorials here. Their rates start at $100 for a quick tip tutorial and $250 per regular tutorial, that is per article per tutorial. So they also discuss rates for higher profile authors and educators as well. So if you feel like you can get something done really well here, especially if you have some sort of background in this, you can have these tutorials created using something like ChatGPT, which is actually very good at coding, and have this published and pitched to the editor here and get paid again, 100 to $250 for this. So basically, They'll tell you how to pitch this and send the above using a form. So you just click the write for us form. Many different websites will do stuff like this. And a lot of times guest posting is more lucrative when it has to do with tutorials that have to do with coding. So just as an example for this video, I went and found just an example of an HTML and CSS uh, JavaScript related tutorial here. So you can see this was a fairly recent one posted in September. So this is fairly you know, fairly new, only a couple months old, and this is the type of thing that actually gets approved and published on this website. It also gives you an idea of what to, what kinds of tutorials to pitch by just seeing what else gets published here. So you could go and copy this and be like, just as an example, of course, um, you could even take ideas from other websites that maybe are not currently posted on this website and get an idea there of just like what kinds of tutorials maybe they would publish that other websites would have that maybe, you know, would be a good example of something that, you know, one of the competing websites has done. So let's say I wanted to do quick tip tutorial on how to add and subtract time from a date in JavaScript. So then we'll see how ChatGPT does. So then you can see right now it is generating these tutorials. You can copy the code here. You can copy and paste all of this into a post, and then you could send it to code dot tutsplus.com and get paid possibly hundreds of dollars just for this post that only takes you know a minute or two actually less because it's already done for chat gpt or another form of ai to generate for you and it gives you the examples where you can copy the code directly it's very easy to read it's it's divided up into you know each little step that you have to go through and then you can just go to these websites like code.tuzplus and then pitch it to them by just filling out this form and then submitting it. And you can get paid one to 250, uh, 100, 100 to $250 for each one of these tutorials that takes you literally a minute or less to create. Another type of work from home job I believe could be mostly automated by AI is a content writer. So if you're some sort of content writer or content creator, you could go and find jobs like a content marketer or a social media specialist, a social media manager, anything along those lines. Now, when I clicked on content marketer on this website, you know, it kind of tells you that you might be doing some WordPress related content on here as well. 
but you can also make newsletters, emails, web pages, and social. So if you're doing different posts, especially for social media, obviously I already showed you, you can create articles for these, but if you want more of a job that's full time, look for something like any kind of writing position, content marketer, social media marketer, social media manager, or something like that, where you can actually get paid to create these posts. Now, it's gonna be a little tougher to do the image-based posts. You can do rough drafts using Dolly or Midjourney for something like that, but you may have to edit it with Canva. Canva is actually a plugin you can integrate with ChatGPT now, where you would create maybe different social media posts using Canva tutorials or Canva templates, I should say. So for instance, you can go to Canva and you see all these different types of templates. So it'll automatically optimize the post you're going to do for the specific aspect ratio that's optimized for that social media platform because each platform is optimized for a different kind. For instance, you know, Pinterest is usually the long, more vertical and skinny types of images. Whereas if you look at images on say Instagram or Facebook, they're more square typically. So you could go on here, let's say you needed some, you know, motivate your work for a company that's, you know, selling business stuff and they want to do a certain amount of like motivational posts um, to kind of get followers before marketing where whatever their product or service is. You know, usually there's like an 80 20 rule or something like that on something like x.com or Facebook where you you post a certain amount of posts that are you know, basically natural and don't have any links, don't sell anything. And then the other 20% of the time you might post something for sales for your actual business. So if you're the social media manager or the content marketing specialist of the company, you could do like create a Instagram image quote with a Albert Einstein quote on success as a Canva template. And then you could go to your plugins and make sure that the Canva plugin is enabled right here under the plugins section. So if you did something like that, obviously this is just a rough draft example. So I don't know how the actual results going to be, but it gives you an idea of where you can start, of course. So then you'll have like a Canva design that it'll create a template for you. It'll start the rough draft for you. And if it does mess up the text a little bit or something like that, you can just go straight on Canva with your Canva account, which your company would probably provide for you. And then you can go and edit it if you need to, because it will provide a link to the template on Canva. As you can see here, it's generating not only the image that you could copy and paste, but also you could do a post where you can edit it if you don't like something about it. If you don't like the background, if you don't like the colors, if you don't like the text, or if something's misspelled, you can take one of these options and just click on the actual link here, and then it'll take you to Canva where you can edit it. And you know, you can, let's say you want to change the color to purple or something like that. So there you go. That gives you an idea of how you could do any kind of social media marketing, content marketing, social media manager or specialist type of job and create these social media posts automatically using something like chat GPT. Now you can see something like a content marketing specialist averages around $65,000 a year. Obviously you could also look up again, social media manager, specialist, content writer or anything along those lines that has to do with, you know, branding. It has to do with creating content for social media and other types of avenues online. So yet another type of job I believe you could do pretty well with AI is a lead generation specialist. Now it's also going to depend on what the company's actual definition of a lead generation specialist is. Some companies may have a different definition of this than others. I use this example because I, I post obviously work from home jobs on my channel. Um, and this is one I covered recently. It's called a lead generation specialist at Lead Simple. Lead Simple is a company that's like a property management, you know, niche type of company that has a CRM for property managers and real estate professionals. And the whole point of this job, I'm just going to sum it up for you because I've already read through it. Basically, what you're going to do is build a database of leads, leads that you find like, you know, target property management companies. So you're trying to find property management companies and build a lead database 
for business development reps to contact in order to try and sell the software as a service that Lead Simple offers. So you are building the database of leads, and one of the best ways you could do that is just by doing some research um, using ChatGPT or some form, some form of AI using its database. So you could be like, find 10 property management companies that might be interested in a CRM like Lead Simple or something like that. And then it literally is finding you companies right here. So it'll take like, what is Lead Simple? All right, it's a CRM for property management. And then it's going to find property management companies and help build a database for you. Literally one of the main things they're looking for for the job at Lead Simple is for you to be able to, in the first 30 days, build 250 property management companies in a database. After 60 days, they want you to have 600 property management companies. After 90 days, they want you to have 1,200 property management companies. So you can use, now obviously ChatGPT doesn't usually use the internet directly yet, but you can use its database, which goes up to like 2021 as of as of right now, you know, assuming you're watching this video during um, the phase of ChatGPT4, but you can take that and, and do research based on the criteria the company is giving you for building this database. So essentially you're doing the research for this database building job of leads using AI automating most of it for you. And then you just input this into some sort of spreadsheet or however it is that they structure this for their business development reps to commence their outreach efforts to. Now, typically a lead generation specialist can also average around 74,000 a year. So you're making a really solid income from something that you can do a big chunk of the work with AI in just a few minutes a day. Uh, last but not least, you have something that I believe is also very valuable and it has to do with Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. You can sell different you can create tools, you can sell formulas or groups of formulas, you can sell entire spreadsheets that you create with AI because AI is going to be better at taking what you describe to it and creating it than it would be for you to do everything manually. As somebody who is a avid user of spreadsheets for my own business, I know that it can take a long time to research on the internet how to do a formula a certain way for a certain function. If you're trying to create this for whatever it could be, finding the right function for your specific situation is not gonna always have an example on the internet in a you know, Google Sheets forum or, or Reddit or something like that. So what you can do is use ChatGPT to describe what you're trying to create. So instead of me coming up with some random example, which is kind of hard to do just off the top of my head for something using like Google Sheets, I actually just showed you something that I actually used fairly recently I was trying to figure out how to make this dash in a formula or in a certain cell come up as blank instead of putting this dash in you're using you know import HTML from a certain place but then you're trying to make the dash come up in a way to where it's not showing up in the search results or in the results in your spreadsheet so for instance if you asked ChatGPT how to do this for instance you know, I, I did the formula right here. It was like equals query import HTML and I use the tables and what limit and all of that. And then ChatGPT edited it for me so that it would remove this dash from the import HTML results. And then it gave me just a simple Excel uh, formula that I can just click copy code for and then paste it wherever I need to in a spreadsheet. So you could literally use Fiverr and you could sell, you could sell these types of services for people who may not know how to use Google Sheets properly and do a lot of in-depth stuff, you can create these packages where you might get $25 for one specific thing, $80 for another thing, and $240 for a more advanced um, script or something like that, and then just have them describe exactly what they're trying to do, and then you can literally copy and paste what they message you and put it into ChatGPT to create that type of script for them. And it does pretty much all the work for you. Then you just copy the code from here, as I showed you, and then you send it in a message to the people you're working with who hired you on Fiverr. 
So any kind of spreadsheet tutorials or scripts or anything like that could be a great way to um, basically build an independent contractor business with Fiverr using AI doing most of the work for you. So hopefully this video was helpful. I showed you a bunch of different ways you could do online jobs, jobs that you can find with no interview or start your own business as a contractor while using AI to pretty much automate the whole job for you, or at least a huge chunk of it for you, saving you a lot of time and making you more money. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comments, like the video, it really helps me out a lot. And don't forget to leave a comment on what other types of videos you'd like me to do in the future, what types of work from home jobs, side hustles, businesses, et cetera, you would like me to cover. And I'll see you in the next video.